No, no. Turn around. Boop. Go. That's good. Want some? Hi, I'm Mike. Good morning and welcome to another day on the ranch. Hey, Bambi. All right, it's just past nine o'clock and today we have on our schedule something that's gonna take us all day to do, but really should only take about 15 minutes. Uh, we are going to take our steers that we have ready to go to butcher over to Sturgis to our uh, processing facility uh, where they will be slaughtered and packaged and eventually end up in the farm store. In order to do that, we first have to get a brand inspector out here to take a look at them, load them on a trailer, drive them to Sturgis, unload them, and then come home. While we're in Sturgis, we're also gonna pick up a new shipment of beef jerky. So we got a busy day planned and very minimal work involved in it. The brand inspector's job is to make sure that the cows or calves that we're selling are ours. She makes sure that the brand is authentic and complete, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and she makes sure the state gets their cut. I'm glad these guys are going, because we'll be, in the last week, we've sold out of hamburger and all steaks I bet. in the last week. So this week, Aaron's doing all like roast sales, trying to get rid of some roast, and then these guys will be back in a couple weeks, so that'll be nice, get restocked, but people are just buying like crazy. These are our steers that are ready to go today. We're gonna go ahead and move them up in the corrals and get them on the trailer. We've already fed the cows this morning and uh, we've got the trailer hooked up, we're ready to go, so let's get to work. The steers themselves are just about two years old. Um, we, they were born here on the ranch. They've never had any antibiotics. They've never had any growth hormones, any of that kind of stuff. They were fed grass up until about 90 days ago. At that point, they still get grass, but they also uh, receive a ration of corn, oats, and barley, and that helps them just put on a little bit of weight, a little bit of fat for marbling. Oh, and check this out. I turned on a stock tank this morning and I forgot about it, so it overflowed. Made a big old mess. Something else to clean up. One thing that I always like to do is make sure that I've got all my gates set before I start moving any cattle. Uh, that way you kind of get a, well, less chance of escapees. You walk through it, you make sure there's no gates open. So we make sure we have all the gates open we need, the gates closed that we don't need. And if you get this all done ahead of time, the chances of running into trouble are a lot less. We got a shape straight shot right into the trailer. Now all we need are some steers. Come on guys, let's go. Come on. Not that way, that way. Nope, that way, that way. You're going the wrong way. Turn around, no, no, no. Turn around. Boop, go. Come on. There you go, look at you guys. Oh, you're so smart. Come on, let's go. So each one of these steers probably weighs close to 1,000 to 1,200 pounds right in there. Uh, maybe a little bit less, but what we're looking for is a hanging weight of about six to 700 pounds a piece. And then that translates into the amount of meat that we're gonna get. Come on. You guys comfy? You guys okay? All righty. My tags are exposed. <laughs> hey, 
My tags are expired. Somebody remind me to grab a new sticker when I get to the house. I've got the tag. I paid for them. Uh, I just haven't put the sticker on. So we got to do that. I want to get pulled over on our way to South Dakota. And once again, for just, uh, let's see, what, two days ago, I think I was there. I'm headed off to South Dakota once again, heading to Sturgis, South Dakota to drop off these steers. Um, it's important that we do this this time of year, and we were actually a little bit worried about it. Uh, all of our freezers end up getting a little bit empty, and with this coronavirus stuff, uh, they've really, really cleaned out here over the last couple of weeks. So we were hoping that they, the states wouldn't start shutting down um, uh, butcher shops and, and processing facilities, which they have not in South Dakota. Other states I've heard they have, but in South Dakota they have not. They haven't really done a whole lot in South Dakota. Uh, there isn't even uh, that much uh, shutting down of businesses and stuff like that yet. So luckily uh, the Sturgis Meats is still open. They're still processing, so we can take these guys over there, hopefully get them done relatively quickly. Uh, within two weeks we'll have more beef to bring home and then restock the farm store. Uh, right now, I know that the farm store is completely out of hamburger, steaks, um, I think those two, two things they're out of, uh, and then, but there's still lots of roasts and cube steak and that kind of stuff, which is not really, I don't consider that steak, by the way. I need to turn around. Now we can go. All right, so I am here in the Gator, and since Mike is gone taking steers over to Sturgis, I am gonna go check the cows before the farm store opens. So nobody was doing anything this morning, but I'm gonna go give them a drive-through. So let's go do that. It's been cloudy all morning and was foggy, but the sun is trying to shine, and it's pretty nice out. The wind's not blowing, surprisingly. Oh, it looks so pretty since Mike harrowed. So I was really kind of hoping that we would have the first calf today because Mike was gone. And so I could steal all the glory that I got to be there for the first calf, but nobody's really by themselves. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna happen today. Oh, Jackrabbit. Are any of you guys gonna have a baby? Did you have a baby today? Before Mike gets back, please? Well, no babies today, or at least not yet. It really doesn't look like anybody's doing anything. I'd be surprised if we had one today, but there's always tomorrow. So I don't get to call Mike and, and brag that I got to be there for the first calf. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey Mike, just give us a couple minutes. We'll be right with you. You got it.
Come on, boys. Got him. Awesome. All righty. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Good afternoon, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go get some jerky up front. So. All right. <laughs> nice to see you. Keep cool, man. Yep, we'll do. Yes, sir. I'm here to pick up jerky for Galloway. Oh, okay. I've got lots and lots and lots of beef jerky with me. This is my favorite flavor of beef jerky that we sell on the website. It's teriyaki flavored beef jerky. Uh, the teriyaki flavored beef sticks are also really good, but I really like the beef jerky. And uh, as long as nobody tells Aaron, I can uh, snag some before I get home. Mm. That's good. Want some? And we're home. Everything looks to be where I left it. And uh, I didn't get any crazy phone calls from Aaron wondering where I was or anything bad happening back here. So that's always a good sign. No news is good news. But now I'm gonna take the boxes of beef jerky inside. We have inventory we have to do. We have to get stuff posted on the website for sale. And hopefully you guys will order beef jerky. We'll find out. Thanks for joining me once again. And we'll see you next time right here on our 30 vlogs in 30 days on our Wyoming life.